Hi. In this section, I am going to discuss some important questions. In this video, I am discussing some important questions based on limits and continuity. Continuity, great tall mathematics. So, you already know what you mean by continuous. The practical meaning of the continuous or geometrical meaning of continuous. If you can draw a curve without lifting the pen, for example, sine graph, you might remember what is sine graph. Sine graph without taking pen, we can draw like this, is it? This is the sine graph. Mod x graph, V shape, but greatest integer function you can't. Greatest integer function is coming without taking pen, you can't draw it. Even, sorry, this is the signal function, signal function I mean. Greatest integer function, you know, a piece, piece, a step, step is coming, is it? That one also. That everything is what? Not a continuous function. The continuous function without it. How we are checking that one? By using the concept of calculus or algebraically. You know, a function if you want to tell continuous at a point. For example, <coughs> continuous at point A. Then the corresponding left limit that we are representing. X tending to A minus F of X should be equal to. <coughs> X tending to a plus f of x that should be equal to what f of a what do you mean by a minus a minus means when the x value is left side of a when x is smaller than a a minus means it is not a negative value x value is what smaller than a what is f of x when x value is greater than a what is f of x should be equal to f of x at that particular point if these three are equal we people are calling what it is continuous if the first two are equal, we are saying what limit existing. Okay. Now one question I wrote on the board. It's a good question. F of x equal to root 3 sin x plus cos x by x plus pi by 6 when x not equal to minus pi by 6. What do you mean by x not equal to minus pi by 6? x not equal to 10 means it should not be 10. It can be more than 10 or less than 10. Either it can be more than 10 or less than 10. So x not equal to minus pi by 6 means it can be more than minus pi by 6 or less than minus pi by 6. And f of x equal to k when x equal to what? Minus pi by 6. Is continuous at the point x equal to minus. Question is completely adding right. This is the question. If f of x this function is continuous at x equal to minus pi by 6. So they already mentioned this function is what? Continuous at x equal to what? Minus pi by 6 means limit x tending to minus pi by 6 minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to minus pi by 6 plus f of x equal to f of minus pi by 6. So, some people are asking, sir, when we are using pi by 2 plus h or something, a plus h and a minus, that is not compulsory to use every time. Mainly we are using that one. If the limit is coming, what do you know? pi by 2, pi 3, pi by 2. What do you, what do you mean by that one? Because in last year you learned uh, pi by 2 plus h in second quadrant, pi by 2 minus h first quadrant, pi plus h third quadrant, pi minus h, like that quadrant changing will be there. But pi by 6, if it is the pi by 6 plus h, you don't know which quadrant it is, you can't write it. Maybe the limit is coming, x tending to pi, pi by 2, like that only you have to use, otherwise, if it is needed only you have to use, otherwise no need to use. Okay, we'll see how we this is a special type question. So, first we are right. Already given that f of x is continuous at x equal that you have right f of x is continuous at x equal to minus pi by 6. Therefore, continuity at x equal to minus pi by 6, comma, f of minus pi by 6 equal to k. When x value is minus pi by 6, f of x is what? K. This is the first thing we need. Anyway, minus pi by 6 minus or plus. More than minus pi by 6, less than minus pi by 6, the same function only because x is not equal. So, no need to take both. Already they told continuous means this everything will be what? Equal. So, no need to repeat everything. Everything is equal. First, I wrote f of a. f of a means f of minus. Now, either right limit or left limit. I am writing right limit. Listen. Limit the x tending to minus pi by 6 plus f of a. Right hand limit we can say. Arch. Equal to. Limit x tending to minus pi by 6. Now you no need to write plus or minus. Once you identified the function, when x value is more than minus pi by 6, plus means more than minus pi by I told you more than and less than. This is the function. What is the function? Function I want. Root 3 
sin x plus cos x divided by x plus pi by 6. Now directly if you are applying there will be a problem. Minus pi by 6 plus pi by 6 denominator will become 0 in determinant form. So to avoid such a situation what we will do we cannot use anything only the method maybe in grade 10 sorry grade 11 you will learn that one uh, the technique just a coefficient of sin x and cos x that what is that root 3 square plus 1 square how much will be 2 divide that one in the numerator and multiply in the numerator in trigonometry equation we solve the similar type so just to do that one so limit x tending to minus pi by 6 is 2 now so first 1 by 2 i kept it outside root 3 by 2 sin x plus 1 by 2 what cos x divided by x plus pi by 6 sorry here it should be 2 then only it will be equal see here 2 i divided same way 2 i multiplied so both will be same only now don't forget this step why I used it because here different functions coming same function if it is coming something we can use okay but it is different function so this I did now what here x plus 5 by 6 is there so this I am going to call don't forget this step limit x tending to minus 5 by 6 2 I just put it outside no problem at all sin x I wrote first out of listen sin x this I am calling cos cos how much pi by 6 cos pi by 6 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 we can call what is 1 by 2 we can sin pi by 6 cos x sin pi by 6 divided by why i wrote this word you can understand in the next step i think this much is clear cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 don't forget 2 already the outside so this can be 2 into limit x tending to minus 5 by 6 there is a result sin a cos b plus cos a sin b is the expansion of sin a plus b why i wrote that one you can understand without practice you can't divided by x plus 5 by 6 now you can see something what i told you before sin something by something is how much you want but the condition is there that something should be you know limit sin something by something is equal to 1 but condition is this then this something should be what tending to 0 that you will get from here when x tending to minus pi by 6 what about x plus pi by 6 this can be rewritten as 2 into limit x plus pi by 6 tending to 0 sin x plus pi by 6 by x plus pi by 6 sin something by something how much 1 so don't forget this something should be what tending to 0 so 2 into 1 how much it will be 2 we got 2 so what we can say no need to write a complete thing LHL don't need to write this is more than enough RHL because LHL RHL everything therefore we have we have RHL equal to how much f of minus 5 by 6 so 2 equal to 1 k okay. I hope this is clear please check repeatedly and don't forget it now next question will come soon Hi, we are continuing the second question if f of x equal to 36 raised to x minus 9 raised to x minus 4 raised to x plus 1 by root 2 minus root of 1 plus cos x if x not equal to 0 k if x equal to 0 is continuous at x equal to 0 is continuous at x equal to 0 same thing given that f of x is continuous at x equal to 0 therefore continuity at x equal to 0 f of 0 is what k now you know RHL and LHL both are same thing only because x is not equal to 0. So I am just finding RHL limit x tending to 0 plus f of x equal to when x is greater than 0 or less than 0 in this case function is same only. So we can write it simplification are the more minus 9 raised to x minus 4 raised to x plus 1 divided by root 2 minus root of 1 plus cos x. Now this simplification I am doing in working order. We can see that one numerator part and simplifying. See, 36 raised to x we can buy 4 raised to x into 9 raised to x. Why? A B whole raised to n is A raised to n into minus 9 raised to x minus 4 raised to x plus 1. 9 raised to x you can take it outside. Just one minute. See, 9 raised to x you can take it outside. So it will be 
4 raised to x minus 1. Here minus 1 we can take it outside. This also same thing. So numerator can be written as 4 raised to x minus 1 minus into nan raised to x minus 1. That's the numerator part. I hope you understood it. Now, not only that one, whenever denominator or numerator root if it comes, root if it comes, in greater than nine, we learn to rationalize the denominator. Rationalize the denominator. Rationalization you can do anywhere. Because directly if you are substituting denominator will become zero. You can see that uh, cos zero one, so root two minus root two which is zero. So rationalization is the better way. So what we have to multiply divide root two plus root of one plus cos x divided by root two plus root of one plus cos x. Now the numerator part already we simplified and limit x tends to zero. Four raised to x minus one into uh, nine raised to x minus one. So, because of the rationalization, root 2 plus root of 1 plus cos x all divided by a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square, that is what, 2 minus of 1 plus cos x will come. So, this will be limit x tending to 0, 4 raised to x minus 1 into 9 raised to x minus 1, root of 2 plus root 1 plus cos x all divided by 1 minus cos x. Question is not that much easy. Chances there for 6 mark. So this much I done. Root 2 plus root of 1 plus cos x. I mean only the first term exam. Final exam there is no chance. So 1 minus cos x we got. Now again work is there. What is 1 plus cos x to cos square x by 2? You have the result that is very important result I told you when I discussed the inverse trigonometry also. 1 plus cos 2x is 2 cos square x. 1 minus cos 2x is 2 sin square x. But here we have only 1 minus cos x. So what, what will be 2 sin square x by 2. So this much I think you wrote. Now please copy this much. Pause the video and copy it. And the remaining things. I am going to write this side. This I am going to raise. So this is this part. This can be 1 minus cos x we can write. Limit x tending to 0, 4 raised to x minus 1 into 9 raised to x minus 1, root 2 plus root of 1 plus cos x divided by 1 minus cos x means what? 2 sin square x by 2. 2 sin square x by 2. So here also I am just going to do because you know sin something by something how much you want. So here sin square x by 2 is there. So x by 2 whole square, I multiplied and I divided. So when we are applying limit, because you know this is what we can write sin x by 2 by x by 2 whole square, sin something by something how much? 1. When x tending to 0 x by so, what we can write? This will be how much? 1. This is 1. Now limit, that limit I applied, limit x tending to 0. 4 raised to x minus 1 into 9 raised to x minus 1 root 2 plus root of 1 plus cos 0. Here also you applied the limit. The first part I didn't apply. Divided by what is the 2 into x square by 4 will be there. x by 2 whole square is what? x square by 4. So here we can do one cancellation 2. Next step please try to understand that 2 I am just going to transpose to up. Limit x tending to 0, 2 into 4 raised to x minus 1 by x because x square is there, x square I am going to split into 9 raised to x minus 1 by x. Now your x square problem is over. Your x square problem is over this one. Now into root 2 plus root 2 will come. Is it root 2 because cos 0 is what? 1 plus 1. Root 2 plus root. So there is two root two. This is the two root two. I think this much you understood. Two root two. Please check it. So there is two root two and here two. So limit x tending to zero. Four root two into four raised to x minus one by x into nine raised to x minus one by what x. Please write up to you. There is a result in grade eleven you learn that will apply now. Please write it quickly. What is that result? In grade 11, this is the result. Limit x tending to 0, 
a raised to x minus 1 by x equal to what? log a. Instead of this one, e if it is coming, that will be 1. Why coming 1? Because log e will come. Log e of which 1. So, a raised to x, this will be 1 log e. So, this answer can be written as 4 root 2 log 4 into log 9. Like that it will come. Log 4 into log 9. I hope you understood it. Please write it. I think you wrote this much. Please pause the video. Now, if you want, you can simplify it. This you can write 4 root 2 log 2 square into log 3 square. Log into log. It's not compulsory. And uh, you know, log aeration is what? This 2 will come. And this uh, 2 2 sub 4. 4 4 sub 16 root 2 log 2 into log 3. That will be the answer. You can't simplify further. Log A plus log B, we have log A B, but log A into log B for time being, you will learn your result. So, this will be. Please write it and after that, next question. Next question, this is the question. If f of x equal to k cos x by pi minus 2x, if x is not equal to pi by 2, 3 if x equal to pi by 2 is continuous at x equal to pi by 2. So, already they told it is continuous at x equal to pi by 2. So, what we can say? Uh, directly it won't exist. So, continuity at x equal to pi by 2. What is f of pi by 2? f of pi by 2 already we have 3 that I wrote. Now, RHL because continuous if they are telling here the same function is coming. So, we can use anything. So, limit x tending to pi by 2 plus f of x equal to limit x tending to pi by 2. Pi by 2 plus and minus same function only k cos x by pi minus 2x. If directly, if you are substituting it, you can see it will be what? 0 by 0 form come. That will be I told you indeterminate form. So, what we can say? This we have to change it. So, this indeterminate form, so we have to change this one. How will it change? I told you. If it is coming pi by 2 or pi, you can write. Uh, right limit if it is coming, wherever x is there, replace by pi by 2 plus h. If you want, you can replace pi by 2 minus h also. So, this is the procedure. Limit h tending to 0, k into cos pi by 2 plus h divided by pi minus 2 into what pi by 2 plus h. Actually, these both are same. If you are checking, when h tending to 0, what about this one? Same thing will come. So, don't forget limit h tending to 0. This is the rule actually. Now, what will be? k into cos 90 plus theta. What is cos 90 plus theta? second quadrant the cos pi by 2 plus theta second quadrant the cos is negative so it will be what minus sin h divided by this when we are opening uh, you can see pi pi cancelled is it it will be the minus 2 h minus 2 h will be the is it now what limit is there don't forget limit h tending to 0 now this minus this minus cancel equal to k in k by 2 into 1 will be why? K by 2 I took it outside. Sin H by H how much 1? Limit H tending to 0. So already we have what? RHL equal to F of pi by 2. So RHL how much K by 2? K by 2 equal to 3. K equal to how much? 6. Easily we can manage it. I am going to conclude with this one. If any more doubt is there, you just WhatsApp me. I will help you. That's all. Bye.